Hey guys, CT Stealth here, and welcome to the introduction of character rigging. Now what I'm about to show you is really straightforward, and you can do it on your own computer. You don't need a mesh or model. Although, later on when you actually learn what bones are and joints and how to use them, you can place them on meshes into the key positions in which you need to. What I'm going to be doing is a simple biped rigging setup. It's basically going to consist of legs, spine, arms, just basic human features, nothing really extravagant, but just to kind of introduce the tools. So the menu set I need to be in is called the animation menu set. And over here in the skeleton, you'll notice these uh, first three here. Uh, it's joint tool, IK handle tool, and IK spline handle tool. Now these are the three tools I use most for rigging. The joint tool is obvious that is, is the bones, it is the main thing in which you will create and you can only create them in the top, front, and side views. So I'm going to come over here to side because this is typically where I'm going to do my joint placement. Now when it comes to bones you need to know three things and you must do them in this order. First is placement. Second is orientation. Third is local orientation axis. Now you need to remember those things for every bone that you make because if you fail to do that in that order later on in, when you're creating your rigging setups you'll run into problems when you try and fix them and you'll have to redo that. The, the key of rigging is you need to make sure that you do everything as perfect as you can in the most efficient way you can so that everything will because every all we're doing is we're going to be building over a top one another so we can't have any mess ups so, first I'm going to start with the hip, so I'm going to s just hold down the X key, snap it to the uh, center of the side, and I'm going to create a knee, and I need to make sure that this knee is not perfectly straight for this leg. Uh, this is for the IK spline tool, so I need to make sure it's just bent just a little bit, but technically it's not bent. And then I'm going to snap again, holding X, to the, um, the axes here and so this represents the ankle and then I'm going to snap again to the axis once more this time along the X and then I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click and drag and as you can see it's going to slide and this these two joints will be this one is the ball and this one is the toe the toe is essentially the end there's nothing we're, we're going to be doing that's going to be beneficial to it so first, um, when I meant the first three things, we're going to talk about like position. Uh, obviously, I would place these uh, bones into position and kind of get them into the exact spots in which they'd be. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, look and kind of demonstrate the actual direction in which these are going. and my right clicking is not working right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna stop the video right now and I'm gonna restart my computer and I'll just be right back because sometimes this happens and I can't right click and I, I, I don't know what to fix it so if anyone has any idea please let me know alright so uh, I'll see you in the next video